So this is a quick example of how a phrase or a portion of text can be refined within the process of incremental reading and then be turned into a snapshot of that memory um, that I'll hopefully be able to retain for the long term. So here's the, the Dendro interface and I have loaded into this Dendro interface a copy of Doug Lemov's Teach Like a Champion. And through reading this, now I'll mention that the PDF reader within Dendro is pretty clunky. Uh, there's some other ways around that which I might talk about later. But within this I came across a really interesting section on you know, reject self-report. And so when I read this, I really liked this particular inset, the trouble with asking, got it. So here, I like this section and what I did was I just selected a portion of it and I hit add note. What happened when I did that was it created a note of that particular portion that looked like this. Now this is that full note that I extracted and I added, when I hit add note, I added the note that, um, it was from page PDF page 76, if in case I wanted to find it later. At a later date, the Dendro algorithm, while I was reading and doing incremental reading, brought that portion of text back to me. I then reread and rethought about that portion of text, and I thought, well, actually, the bit that I'm particularly interested in this in is this bit, and I made a further note. Uh, from that portion of text and I deactivated this section. Then again at a later date that smaller portion of text was brought back to me and I was able to again think about that further, revisit it. So by this point this is the third time I've reviewed this and the Dendro algorithm meant that those reviews of this interesting portion of te text were spread out over time for me to help me to kind of process it over time. The third time I read this I thought you know what, I think I actually get this now and I think I can put it into words in a way that's going to help me remember it for the long term. Now, for some portions of text, I would then, I usually dot, 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 make a note and do a summary here and then I'll make a further note based upon that um, and then that further summary can be found later on. But in this case, I thought, well, actually, I understand this content well enough and I'm ready to make a... I'm ready to make a spaced repetition card straight after this. So you can actually make a spaced repetition card in Dendro, uh, but I currently prefer the Anki interface for spaced repetition cards. So I'm using Dendro for incremental reading and Anki for that spaced repetition. So I took this portion, and let's just read it together. When we ask self-report questions, it's in part because we're acknowledging that we have reached a natural transition point. We've come to a spot where we could where we should check in with students and find out how they are doing. Ironically, asking rhetorically, asking rhetorically squanders that moment and can actually be counterproductive. So to me, that was a really great insight from Lemov, and I thought I want to remember that for the long term. So the way I captured it was as follows. Doug Lemov, we ask rhetorical self-report questions in part to acknowledge we're at a point where we should check for understanding. And then I put a link to the URL of that note um, and the PDF page 76 in case I wanted to go back for more context later on. So as you can see, the process of incremental reading has enabled me to encounter the initial information several times to distill the key portion of it um, that I wanted to and now to pull out this key idea that I really want to retain for the long term. And what this is hopefully going to enable me to do is, you know, when I'm working with a teacher in future, coaching a teacher or something like that, when I see them go, does everyone understand that? Um, I'm in the reflection or the discussion after the, after the lesson, I'm going to be able to say to them, what you're doing then in that mo moment is you're actually identifying that you've, you've, you're at a key inflection point in the lesson. You're at a key point where it's the perfect time to check for understanding, right? So now I've, I've really built this idea that was captured in that text and distilled down into this bite-sized memory that is hopefully now actionable uh, in the real world. So that's the process of incremental reading through Dendro and how it can then be captured and retained through Anki.